is not a lot of room in here. Natural gas, what a weird apartment. We're also next to a barren wasteland, but at least it's as affordable as it is weird. Welcome to Union Square. It's a little quiet this morning. It's a freezing cold morning. But look, there's a lot here. You see the Sephora, you see the Whole Foods, finally dismantling this holiday market. The apartments, right? That's right, you know it. But look at all these trains. You can get anywhere if you live here. We're also by the L train, which is a little bit closer to the apartment right over here. But honestly, the L is for losers who wanna hang out in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Who does that? So maybe you should just walk to Union Square. You can get yourself the healthiest food imaginable. See, look, there's some lettuce in there. There's also unlimited city bikes. And this here is the movie theater. Why are there no movie posters here anymore? They don't wanna show you how terrible the choices are. Now, if you're a rebellious teenager, this here be your local skate shop. Nothing says rebel like that hoodie and the socks and the sandals. That's the real rebellion. There's lots of little restaurants. Plant Burger, the Taqueria, that Sprouts Bowl looks awesome. What is an unregular pizza? Dig or don't, you've got other choices. Hey, hey, NYU. Look, they have their own campus safety. This is like the safest block ever, except for whoever destroyed this bicycle. Look at that, we got a little Chinese place. That is a coffee house. The flower stall. It's some sort of vintage thing. And this does not qualify as a Mexican restaurant, no matter how addicting their burritos are. Now all these little places are right around the corner from the apartment. That's like a little Texas cookhouse. This place, I don't know if it's been shut down or not. Attention residents, yeah, it might have been. But then we got Bar None, karate classes upstairs, the Hunan Bistro, and we have the West Side Market. It's good to live near something like this, full grocery store. What a creepy looking thrift store. Is that the Pink Panther? Who is buying this stuff? Basics Plus, got you a fireproof safe right there. Cutlets, get yourself that chicken parm. Then we got Linen Hall and next to that, the Penny Farthing. It's actually a bicycle. Now the actual street itself, 14th Street where we're living, it is a sight to be seen. You got businesses upstairs, downstairs, in this whole area. 60 minute back rub, 48 bucks. here we got your local ramen hut that's really kind of what it is look at how small a building is maybe it's part of this larger building ramen and gyoza you cannot go wrong with that get the karage chicken too oh hanlins that sounds irish and then we got your local thai place happy burrito way more authentic than taco bell oh man look at the pictures that this place has going on this looks like an awesome diner sushi something else and then we have this creepy vintage restaurant called beauty bar maybe a long time ago it was a hair salon. We're also by one of the only IHOPs in this area, which means if you're in a college fraternity, that's where you're gonna be eating pretty much all your meals. This looks like a little diner with some awesome looking bowls. Look at that, that's like the king of chicken sandwiches. Then we have the $1.50 pizza. You can see the price has changed because of inflation. What is this place? It looks like a lamb chicken place. T-O-P-O, -O. maybe it's Peruvian chicken, but there's probably more chicken in here than in anything you're gonna find at KFC. These are like 99% breadcrumb bites. Every time I eat at KFC, I'm always a little bit disappointed. Chicken shawarma, also a good idea from the halal guys. But tattoos are a bad idea. Unless getting one would make your parents angry. Then right here, we got a little coffee place and that famous artichoke pizza. It's really good. I just don't like their namesake, the artichoke slice. And you'll definitely try it because the building is right there. Now, 
Now in this building, we got two really small, really weird apartments. What's also crazy is look at this. There's 36 total units in this building. Originally, there were only 16. Nobody's supposed to go on the roof. People have been littering and somebody's bicycle is uh, still up there. And the offender for all of those is probably the exact same person. I'm pretty sure this is the smallest two bedroom you can rent right now. At the moment, this is not on the market, but it's gonna rent for around three grand for a two bed. So this weird L-shaped like hallway, this is the entire living room. And every time I see something with this layout, it just freaks me out. There's also this really long hallway. It's over 20 feet for no reason. Maybe on the walls, you can hang some pictures. You're gonna have to do something. Between the heat pipe and the gas meter, against the wall, one of those leaf tables that like goes up and down, one of those deals here with a couple stools, that's gonna have to be where your table goes. And over here, it looks like there's a lot of space, but the clock the closet door kind of makes it smaller, but you could get a TV mounted over here. Another option would be to install like a bar counter along the wall without drilling into the gas pipe. But beyond that, there just isn't a ton of room to put stuff. Now that doesn't make this a bad place. It just makes it a small place. thing creaks a little. And what's really annoying is this refrigerator door. Look at this, it completely opens the wrong way. That should totally go that way. Oh wait, actually, no it can't because if it did, it would hit that pipe. So even though it opens the wrong way for this apartment, it's the right way. The stove slash oven looks like it was recently replaced. And right here, you could get yourself a little rolling counter. Water pressure. You know what, that's not bad. As far as outlets, you can have two appliances that both sit in the same place, which probably means you just get one appliance. And you know, we've got some cabinets under here. Relatively clean too, it's not a filthy apartment. Old, yes, weird, yes, but it's not gross. This is our view, there's like an observation deck or something up there, and our window's frosted. Okay, that's why, there's like a little path here that somebody, probably a superintendent walks down. This bedroom is 12 by eight. And you see that, that is sunlight because even though we're not looking out at anything, there's plenty of room for you to see the sky. And the sunlight's bouncing off that building, which makes this brighter than it should be for a ground floor apartment. And this is not a bad room. As long as you put your bed by the window, try to get the smallest bed that you can. And if it sticks out this way, maybe you could get a small dresser or maybe a tiny desk against the opposite wall. The closet itself is actually a little bit bigger than you might've expected and it actually kind of goes back in here on the side of the wall. That's your heater. And you see this wire, I think that's your cable hookup. It's just kind of weird that it's in this room and not in the common area. Twelve by six feet seven inches. Definitely a little bit more narrow than the other one. Even the windows narrow, the views the same, and we have the same size closet in here. The only option, twin bed. But the overall room is clean. It's bright, and I don't hear any street noise because it doesn't face the street. This is the weirdest bathroom ever. Toilet, sink. Tub. It's got three sections. And that's because there's these weird walls that are just like still here for some reason. What is it like to sit in the tub? Uninspiring, but it's clean. There's no mold, comes with a festive looking shower curtain. And there's another one of those pipes. These do get really hot, but hey, you won't have to get out of the shower and have it be cold. Also a window instead of a fan, but I think the window's in the right place behind the seat of achievement. Watching TikToks is an achievement. And then right over here, we have the sink. It's got that bowl shaped design. The pressure in here is really, really strong. Medicine cabinet. And there's a little toothbrush holder and an outlet. If you plug something in there, 
snake the cord up and put it on top of the cabinet. Bathroom storage is really non-existent, but in the corner, you can put the essentials. And I think that toilet brush is free. I don't love the fact that this cord is just resting on the heater, but it gives you a good idea of how hot these actually get. You can kind of hear it going off at the moment. Um, I definitely wouldn't touch it, but this cord's pretty old. It doesn't look like it's fried or anything. I think that is actually for the fridge. Now this is actually a one bedroom apartment. It's 2850 and I wish that downstairs place looked like this. I like that the hallway in here is not like 200 feet long. You could put a little bench right down here. It also comes with a gas meter of its own, but the accompanying pipe must still be in the wall. And aside from this, look, things are modern. That's a split unit. And the view here is a big improvement, I think. Now here we've got a layout that combines the kitchen area and the living room. I would put the table over here by this window and above the table you can mount an entertainment and then here you could have a big couch. Definitely that is a much more comfortable setup than the downstairs place. But since it's only a one bedroom, it's gonna be tough to split the rent here with a roommate and that might not even be possible. All right, now because right after the window opens there's like a seven foot drop. I don't think you're gonna climb out on this thing, but look at the view, it really is pleasant. We're seeing the sky, there's no street noise. You just can't use this as an unofficial hangout. Also the free curtain, that is a nice touch. I like how you can open the oven and check on dinner from inside the bathroom. But jokes aside, this is definitely a good kitchen. You got space for a microwave. Cabinets look like they were recently put in. You can have four appliances instead of two, as long as one of them is the stove. Again, this isn't a bad looking oven. And the water pressure is still good, even though we're on the sixth floor instead of the first floor. Decent counter space. Any horrors under here? No, it's clean. This is a normal size bedroom, it's 10 by 12. Closet in here looks decent. And this just feels like a bright sunny room. There's not just one, but two heat pipes. And you shouldn't have trouble getting a queen in here. Let's say the head of your bed is over there, the feet come out this way, then you can have a dresser or a little home office with something mounted on the wall. Maybe a picture of grandma. It's like eight inches. You can't fill it with a lot of water. But like, I think you could wash a baby in it. Again, it is clean. That dial looks new. No mold or any kinds of stains. The natural lighting in here is also really good. This window is frosted over. This is like some cheap contact paper, but hey, it's working. And look, you can easily like walk through this thing without getting completely sideways to get to the sink. The sink itself, nothing impressive. You could wash both hands at the same time. Plus the mirror's fancy. Look at this thing. Super nice, little bit of trim. Heat pipe is a little weird. I think this is actually supposed to be way up there. No real bathroom storage in here either, but that floor tile definitely looks modern. Everything else in here is good. We got another little frosted window, towel rack. If you want to rent either of these two interesting apartments, check out the video description. Subscribe if you had fun. I'll see you in the next video.